Our bishop-elect Clark said, we're doing church God's way. The Bible teaches, then the king will say to those on his right, enter, you who are blessed by my father. Take what's coming to you in this kingdom. It's been ready for you since the world's foundation. And here's why. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then those sheep are going to say, Master, what are you talking about? When did we ever see you hungry and feed you, thirsty and give you a drink? And when did we ever see you sick or in prison and come to you? Then the king will say, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Now that's church, God's way. this question so many times. What would Jesus do? The Bible says, when they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, feed my lambs. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. So as it was written, so let it be done. I wanted to take a moment to say thank you uh, for your service here. You are volunteering your service to uh, minister to those who come to our doors. You all pour in your service into this ministry. And I want you to know that I appreciate you. I thank you. I told a group of men this morning that, um, that they were my brothers. They don't know it yet, but we're all brothers in Christ. Your dedication and loyalty is impeccable. I can't pay you for what you do. This is what Jesus would have us to do to his people. We just now have begun to do church God's way. That is to reach out to his people. This will far outlast me. It's going to turn into a, a regional movement. We're going to eliminate systemic famine in this region. And no child will ever go in this region hungry, go to sleep hungry. As long as we're here. And souls will be saved at record. People are going to know Jesus, come to know who he is. 
I need to know from you, should we continue? Because I know many of you are rising up. You're here at six in the morning on Saturdays, preparing the food. And you've given God, you've given me your Saturday morning. This is the best women's fellowship or men's fellowship we've ever had. Yes. But I need to know from you, do you want to go through the summer? Somebody step forward and speak yes. to me, one person. What did you say? I'm just excited about it. Um, I wish I would have started weeks ago. And I just believe that as, as, as we continue and as we go out and do this, that more people will join in. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is yes. fellowship, like you say, the best men, women, and even, even for the kids. This is just a blessing mm -hmm. for the teenagers. They yes. need to see it. Yes. They need to see the, the next generation yes. needs to see If we don't start helping, what's going to happen to them? Somebody else speak to me. Excuse me. Could y'all listen from an outsider? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, looking at y'all, I mean, I'm from Church of God in Christ. But looking at the work of y'all, and this is my first time even knowing y'all existence. And this has made an impact on me. I mean, just knowing that this is God. Yes. This is God. Amen. And Pastor, I want to say when I heard you say, shall we keep on going? The one song come to my mind, I don't know if all, you know, Pentecostal, you know. Uh, I believe I keep on see what the Lord see what the end. See what the end. Consider myself a lost sheep, mm -hmm. trying to find my way back. Amen. Now y'all have shown me what the way back looks like. The more excellent way is straight ahead. The flock is led to pastures of fresh daily bread. It is baked and broken with coffee and eggs, then served with an awesome attitude. You can see it in their tear-filled eyes that the small sacrifice made on Saturday has saved their lives as we do church God's way. So shift your minds and rewind to the times when we might have been in their shoes and simply spread the good news. There is a clarion call for us to take our stand and band together, brothers and sisters, as a three-chord strand. We don't need to be fans, just participants. So just as the ants in the summer ways, let us store up our resources for the upcoming days. Because the Feed My Sheep program is here to stay. <laughs>